here of Joe of Pyle. Yeah, I got it. Yes, ma'am? Yeah, it's Paul. Would you mind if I come in? I want to deliver something for Joe. One moment. Thank you. I don't know what happened to that, but there was no response, and I would like to know. Um, okay, when you say you left a message, with who? Well, when we came up here, we spoke to another gentleman, and uh, he said he would, if, if Sheriff Joe couldn't meet with us, he would pass this on, uh, I guess, Mr. Zulu, I don't know his okay. title. And I haven't heard back from him. So I would like to have an appointment made with either Sheriff Joe, if not him, then at least Mr. Zulo. But we do want to meet with one of his office staff members. Okay. Can you tell me what it's regarding? Yes, it's regarding the same letter I gave him. It's nothing oh. different. I already gave him the material. It has to do with a CPS case of kidnapping, abuse, and attempted suicide due to routine sexual misconduct and rape by the staff members on children that they have in their custody. And uh, we've delivered this to him and we, we need a response. And so we're giving him all the information. We have the license plate numbers of the perpetrators, the phone numbers, the addresses of the children, the police reports that have been ignored. Okay. And now the kid is down to wanting to commit suicide. A kid who looked perfectly normal the day before he was picked up and who is now at risk. Work that we generated? You said this was, see, yeah, well, see, I came about two weeks ago and I left a letter requesting a meeting, and that letter might have been about maybe three or four pages long. And then I uh, have since re written this one up, and this one has um, more detailed information and the same request to meet with him. How are you? Hi, I'm Deputy Enriquez. I'm the public information officer. All right, nice to meet yeah, you. Yeah, nice to meet you. So you work with Sheriff Joe also? I do. Good, good. Well, where's Mark, where's Mike Zulo? He, is Mike's he? not here on this floor right now. Yeah. That's why we're tr trying to do oh, okay. it and see what you need. Okay, um, well, I appreciate it. If this boy commits suicide in the process, it will be a collective group of people who, who are at fault. Okay. Yeah. Well, let me just go and uh, speak to my supervisor okay. and uh, figure out what we're going to do. Okay. Uh, figure out what we're going to do. Okay. Uh, figure out what we're going to do. Okay. All right. Um, can I ask you just the kind of off topic subject? Sure. How come you're recording? Well, I, I just want a record of this. This is very important. Okay. We have kids dying over this and people not being responsive. Okay. I was just, I was just wondering. Sure. Why. Okay. Sure. Just give me a second, I'll be right back, okay? Right. Thank you so much. Tell the audience the things that you told your attorney were going on with your sons and the advice he gave you as you walked into court. Being raped, put on illegal medicines, they're being made to be quiet, they're being restrained from their visits, saying they can't see their mother, and they're being lied to, saying that the mother doesn't love them. I was told if I was to speak any, it, about anything, that it's gonna be hard for you to get your children back. What are they doing to your children sexually? They're making them give them oral sex, and they're also molesting them. Who's now six, his caretaker, which he's been coming to numerous visits with, his head's been beating, got knots on the back of his head, numerous sores in his head, and I have pictures to also show that his head was perfectly clear when I was with him, and it was cut bald. She ties him up, put hot sauce on his food, and makes him not be able to accept anything that I bring to him. He's scared to say anything out about it, but when he does get a little bold to speak out about it, he states and says that she's pinched my penis, and I've also noticed that he's been afraid a lot. When it comes to speaking about house parents, he can't take any food home and he comes to the visits very hungry. A, a secretary that said Aviva, she's also stated that the child has looked very spaced out. And when I see him, I ask, what's wrong? What's wrong? Why is he looking like this? And come to find out, he stated, Mom, they're giving me some pills now. Did you tell the attorney about the fact that they won't let your sons wear underwear? And yes, I've told him about that. Okay. Nothing's to no avail. All I was told is you better be quiet because the government has a lot of power. The government has a lot of power. And I said, God has all the power. Okay, so what did the attorney, now you told him that your children are being molested. They have herpes sores around their mouths. You, you told them that your two older uh, sons pushed off one man that had his private part on the little six-year-old's buttocks. Yes. You told him all of that. Now, tell everybody, what did Attorney Curtis say as you were walking into court about what you wanted to share with the judge? 
I wanted to share with the judge that my children was going through this, and I was told, if you don't be careful, they can they can keep your children. Did he want you to tell them what happened to your children? Did he? No, want you? he told me not to say anything about that. He told me just he just when I was speaking about it, it was just totally absurd. I wasn't allowed to speak or nothing about it, and I was also told by my judge, if, if I'm trying to do that to get my children back, I won't. Did he allow you to say any of what you just told no, us? No, he did not. And he would not submit it to the courts. All right, Joe Apayo, you heard that. Thanks for calling the Maricopa County Sheriff's Office. If this is an emergency, please hang up and dial 911. To quickly route your call to the correct department, please select from the following options or visit our website at www.mcso. Please hold. Good afternoon, Sheriff. Office, how may I help you? Yeah, hi. Good afternoon. This is Paula Flo. I um, wanted to speak to either Angie or Lacey. And your name is Paula Flo? Yes. Uh -huh. Okay. I'm actually not available. Can I take a message on your behalf? Oh, neither one is available? Um, no, actually, may I take a message on your behalf? Yes, you may. Um, again, my name is Paula Flo, F is in Frank, L-O-W-E. Okay. And I handed an envelope to Lacey last week. And what is, what is you, today's date? Did you bring it in hand carry? I hand carried it. And what is today's date? Today is Friday the, what, the 15th? Is today the 15th? Mm -hmm. Okay. Excuse me, ma'am? Yes. Okay, so what time is it? Um, it's a quarter to four. Oh. Almost a quarter to four. Okay, and you agree it's November 15th? Do I agree if it's November 15th? I'm just yes. checking the today, date. Yes, ma'am, today is November 15th. Okay, um, I'm wanting to leave a message for Sheriff Joe, and I want you to know that I am recording this, and I want to let him know we dropped off a letter last week, and we're waiting for a response. The letter is for having a meeting regarding a family where uh, one of the children is being viciously abused and we've gone to several police officers and we really don't know who else to turn to so we've gone to Sheriff Joe I've delivered him a letter to him with the addresses the license plates the phone numbers uh, the, the uh, authority figures of the people who are harming the, this particular boy, although there are three siblings, but one of them in particular has already been abused to the point where the person abusing him was arrested and placed in jail, but the boy is still in very uh, unsafe conditions. And we would like Sheriff Joe to respond by having a meeting with us so we could give him the full story. We have CBS, KPHO, News 5 already interview us and they have been unresponsive. They took the message, they gave us a lengthy interview at the Arizona State Capitol building on their grounds there, and we even handed an 18-page document to them, and we gave, the, the, the document we handed to CBS, we gave to Sheriff Joe. We okay. gave them a copy of the original. They okay. haven't been responded, and nor has Sheriff Joe, and I'm requesting that you please tell him this is urgent, and we would love to have a meeting last week. The, the letter I gave him last week was a request for him to call this week. And this okay. whole week has gone by. It's Friday. It's almost, I, I forgot what time you said. It's after 3. And we haven't heard from him. And we're requesting that you please. Okay, ma'am. Is yes. there a contact number that we can, you can be reached at? 408 509 509. Okay, I can definitely pass along this message. I really appreciate it. May I know your name? Hello? Yes, ma'am. May I know your name? No, I'm not going to give out my name. Yeah. Okay. You know, okay, thank well, you. thank you. I'm happy to pass on your message. I appreciate it. You have okay, a good thank weekend. You very much for calling. Bye. -bye. Bye.